Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of My Mermaid Life. This one we are going to be concentrating on making some farms that will better help us get some items that we're going to need in order to survive in our under the sea kingdom. First things first, we definitely need some XP. I'll tell you now, I <laughs> I got fortune and then I um, swiftly lost it. So I'll show you that clip right now. I started out with trying to enchant some items to hopefully get fortune so I can mine lots and lots of diamonds. I only got fortune too. But I combined the pick I enchanted earlier with the Fortune 2 Diamond pick to have an overall really good pickaxe. If I ever got Fortune 2 again in the future, I can just combine them to have a Fortune 3 pick. I used my new shiny Diamond pickaxe to mine all the diamonds I had found but left there so that I could increase the amount of diamonds I would actually get. And I would say the results were great. I even found the biggest diamond ore vein I've ever found in Minecraft. Then I found this hole in a wall of stone that I decided to check out. Big mistake, because even though I was trying my hardest not to fall down this little stream of water, I did anyways, and I couldn't get back up. I ran as fast as I could away from the mobs, trying to find another source of water I could swim away into, but it was too late. I rushed back to see if I could recover any of my things, and just when I thought I got all of my stuff back, I forgot to bring a bucket of water. The second time I went to see if I had anything left, I managed to pick up almost all of my items from my inventory. Everything but the diamond pickaxe. I was able to recover the diamonds though, so I took them back home and decided to make a bunch of diamond items and a set of diamond armor with still a stack and 19 diamonds to spare. Then back in the caves to recover my levels, I discovered an axolotl, so I scooped them up and took them home. What name do you think I should give my new friend? After gathering 30 levels again, I tried to re-enchant a diamond pig and hopefully get fortune 2 or 3 but I wasn't so lucky. So I just enchanted some extra books and I applied them to the tridents I had been saving. So yeah, I'm uh back to nothing and I only have two levels now after enchanting all those items I enchanted so I'm thinking a better more efficient way than just going around and mining although it was a little bit helpful we might need an XP farm I'm limited in what I can do for XP farms because if I do a mob XP farm I might die trying because there's not a lot of water and I definitely can't do an Enderman XP farm at the moment because we have not found the end and also I might die. Before we can do any projects like that I am going to need a respiration helmet so that I can breathe above water or a conduit. Believe it or not a conduit can help me breathe above water and we almost have the materials ready for it. There's my death over there well fun we almost have a conduit over here we just need two more nautilus shells and then we can breathe above land it'll be much easier to make these automatic farms but i'm thinking just for now oh hello sir actually i need that can you please drop that give me yeah yes okay one more wow Thank you for just bringing that right to me. I have an idea to make a farm that is perfect for the desert. It's a cactus farm. And not only is it perfect because we are in the desert, we also need green dye too for cyan if we're gonna have any more builds with cyan glass. So we'll have to build this above land because it's not going to work underwater i mean we could build it 
we actually could build it underwater and then just have a little space under like if we enclose it in a building and then get rid of the water for where the cactus is going to grow because then I don't have to worry about trying to be able to breathe while getting the XP. I think I might do that. I think I, I think we'll add our first our first building. Now where to put it? We could put it over here, kind of in the side of the mountain. Alright, I think this is what we'll do. We'll add another building over here. And this will be our cactus farm. And then eventually we can make fun little coral paths between our buildings. Alright, so we might have to gather a few more materials before we get building. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll be right back. Alrighty, I have some materials gathered that I should be able to use for this farm and I don't want it to look exactly like the castle, but I do want to fit the color scheme. So I'll be using similar blocks, but I think I want to do the design just a slight bit differently. So I'm going to lay out a foundation, maybe play around with a shape for a little bit and I think I think that means this calls for a time lapse. Let's get building.
This is the last shell we need to make a conduit. <gasps> oh my gosh, yes. Conduit, yes. We did it, we did it. I think we will place that down later. Alrighty, I have finished my XP farm. Although, you know, it's not perfect. It's very beginner level. It's not going to be a ton of XP, but it'll be another way that doesn't require me breaking a bunch of fishing rods and using up XP to make more fishing rods. So, um, the building, I'm, eh, I was trying to experiment with a different style, but I don't know... I kind of regret not making it a circle, but I'm too lazy to fix it right now. Maybe I'll fix it at another time, but so this is the farm on the inside. I, I can make it prettier, but this will just have to do for now. But so when the cactuses break and they go into the hopper, they auto smell and then I can take the XP from here. So if I stand here for a long time and just let this pile up to 64, I can grab all that XP. And it'll just, it'll be infinite. Like I don't have to gather resources because the cactus will automatically grow and then drop. So that's a nice way to just get XP without having to go mining or like if overnight I just want to keep my computer open and then in the morning I can just grab all that extra XP, which will be super helpful. But another way of getting the enchantments I want is having a librarian villager. So as I was running around to the villages to try and make a librarian, I noticed something somewhere in this mod pack one of the mods affects the villagers and so I cannot artificially make a librarian that means I have to go out in the world and I have to find a librarian that means I could go literally thousands upon ten thousands of locks 
away just to find a librarian. I don't know if I want to do that, but exploring does kind of sound fun. And the only other way is to get a librarian zombie villager that just shows up one day and then we trap them and then use a potion of harming and a golden apple. Right now, I actually already have a zombie villager trapped, but I think they are either a leather worker or a blacksmith. I forgot to look very closely. And I don't know if I can change their job, but in order to even try, I am going to need a brewing stand and some blaze rods, which means going into the nether, which I don't think I'm ready for yet. I think I might need some enchantments anyways before I step a foot in the nether or or fight any blaze. So I think that's a leather worker, but I'm not too sure if I can change his after. So we can't do that now anyways, because I'm not stepping into the nether today. So I think it's time to go exploring. So exploring montage, let's go. Oh my gosh, I can't believe 
I can I steal you guys? Can I take you home with me somehow? Oh my gosh, how far away am I? I'm so far away right now, I think. Oh my gosh, I'm so far away. But I did it! I found I found them. I want that. But 38 emeralds? I have 35. I'm so close. Uh oh, problem. Oh, Whew, don't do that again. That was terrifying. All right, I'm gonna take a little sleep and then I'm gonna somehow find my way back home with this villager. We'll see how this goes. just died to I was stuck I was above water I was like above water and I was stuck and like I was trying everything so hard I was trying to place a bucket of water but I just drowned because I was one block above water and I was stuck oh maybe I should have logged off I lost all of my stuff and the villagers all the way out there I don't know if I'm gonna make it in time. I'm 3,000 blocks away. Ah, oh, shoot. Oh no. I had so many diamonds too. I broke my bed, so now I'm back at spawn with no villager and none of my stuff. Of course I wasn't recording when I died either because I thought I wouldn't. I literally was being so safe, but I got stuck on a block and I died. I died to a glitch. This is so, and I can't cheat like to like make it up to myself either because I died unfairly. It will be a miracle if my stuff is still there. At least the diamonds and my necklace. That's all I really care about because I don't have another heart of the sea at home, I don't think. Oh, I do have more sea crystals actually. I lied. I'm almost there, I'm almost there. I hope some things are left. I hope the diamonds are still there. Is my stuff still here? Oh, some stuff. Oh my gosh, it's everywhere. Oh my gosh, don't take my sword. Don't pick up my sword. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I made it. Are those the diamonds up there? Yes! Give me those diamonds! Oh my gosh, we got all of them. Whew! Oh, that was... That was scary, honestly. Didn't know if I was gonna make it. I think I got everything. And our, our villager's still alive. And we made it. And we're going to swiftly just go back the other way. Yeah, we're gonna go around this whole ice thing. This might take a while. What is that? What is that? I hate it. Whatever it is. I hope it's not following me. Go, 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 I hate it here. I don't like 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 it here. Let me in. Ah! What are those? I didn't need any more problems. Thank you. Please leave. I'm not willing to find out if the things with big, sharp teeth are friendly. Oh, this is gonna be a long night. Right, villager, just you and me. Oh my gosh, look at the guardian temple right there. Okay, don't go near that either. This villager better take a lectern. Better take a lectern when we get back there. If we don't, I'm never doing this again. And then I'll just stick to grinding for levels the old-fashioned way we did it we did it it's my coral reef we're home oh my goodness gracious I'm never doing this again this is the only one we're capturing all right villager I'm gonna go to sleep real quick oh home sweet home didn't think we would make it to be honest okay you're nice and safe up there 
You probably cannot take one more hit. Not even an accidental hit from me. You will probably die. So we got to be extra careful. All right, now for the moment of truth. And I, I swear if this doesn't work. Please, please. Nothing? Really? Do you need some food? You're not gonna be a light. Did I waste? Why is this? Why is. <sighs> this is sad. Duh. It may, it's making me want to cry. Oh my gosh, protection three and respiration three. We are set. I have to go test this out. I have to go test this out right now. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness. I can walk on land and I lose my bubbles so much slower. That is so nice. Now I don't have to worry so immediately about running out oh this is so good this will help so much with all of our other projects now out of curiosity since we've got one thing on my list that i wanted i'm just curious uh, breaking three that sounds scary but at least we have protection three on almost everything and then i think i have a protection three book actually we don't have unbreaking though, so it's gonna cost us diamonds if we ever need to repair anything. All right, we have a full diamond armor with protection enchantments and respiration three and depth strider, even though we don't really need it. So I feel way more safer in this. Oh, now we can see it. There we go, our beautiful diamond armor. I love it. It kind of matches my house. And you know what? If we want to make the diamond armor even more fancy, we can spruce it up a little bit. We're going to need a smithing table for this. Perfect. Now we have a smithing table. Look at that! Wait, we have to do all of it first. And there we have our full diamond armor with amethyst trim. That looks so good. Let's go see what this looks like on the surface without my tail. <gasps> this looks so cool! I look so fancy with the amethyst trim. I love it so much i really like this update that they added now that i have respiration and armor for some protection i'm thinking i might brave this temple over here and maybe try and get some treasure i want to be able to build a staircase out of here well i guess i have plenty of blocks in my inventory
Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> the bottom of the temple got turned into a cave. That is such bad luck. Well, I think we could use this space though for something else. I'm thinking maybe a mob grinder. What do you think? All we would need really is to just block up this hole here and make sure that the dimensions are correct. And this could honestly be the perfect mob grinder area. And then what we'll use, we'll use this middle shaft to be where they fall. And I will make a tunnel in the ocean that will allow me to just go right up to there and gather the materials without having to get out of the water. This is gonna be great. It's already dark and spooky down here. Well, I maybe I should light up this area until we actually want mobs to spawn down here. Otherwise, something like that's gonna happen again. You well, might as well like just light up everything. Ah! Well, at least we know there will definitely be mobs that spawn here. Where's the other one? Where'd you go? Yeah, maybe let's put these on the walls so I don't, when I put down water, they don't just go away. Oh, hi, beaver. Um, you weren't supposed to come down here. Okay, I know beavers bite back, so I'm not gonna fight them. I'm just gonna leave them in here and I'll pretend that I never saw that he came in here. Oh, that's not going to be good. I'm starting to wonder if this is being more complicated than just building it by hand or if having the actual foundation of the temple being here was helpful at all. What? Since when can sand be held up by torches? There we go. Okay. We have the basic foundation done. And now we just need to bring this up one more level. And we will have the main chamber that all the mods, all the mobs are supposed to come through. And then we'll have to go down there and that'll be the more scarier part of this. Amazingly enough, I have run out of blocks. All right, we might need to go and get some more. Here I was thinking I would come out of this with lots of sand blocks, but I actually might need more. It doesn't need to look pretty. I'm probably never going to see the chamber ever again. So we'll just have an, ar an arrangement of blocks. Okay, we didn't even need all the blocks that I ended up grabbing. Let's maybe take all these well, actually, we'll leave the torches for now and we'll come back for them later only because we're going to have to do the bottom part and I don't want mobs dropping on my head while I'm doing that. Okay, now is the part to 
go down the hole that they're going to fall through. I might actually have, I was gonna try and do it from the outside, but I might have to do it from the inside and just be very careful because I'm sure there are plenty of mobs down there. In fact, maybe I will grab a couple of these torches. Okay, that'll help us get down. Ouch. Oh, it's not a cave, it's just a random hole. Okay. Okay, so that should be enough height for them to die when they fall down, or at least have enough damage taken. So now I want to get some hoppers, and I'm going to put them at the bottom here. But actually, I'm going to take a look-see on the outside of this and see if I can make a hole towards, let's see, this way is towards the ocean. And right here, perfect. Okay, so if that is 22, we're gonna go ahead and make a circle around it. I don't actually want my mobs to be drowned. So I gotta make sure that this water doesn't transfer over. Where's this water coming from? Hello? Is that a beaver? That poor beaver. I think I'm gonna go ahead and grab this bucket just so we can see it without the flowing water. Okay, we're gonna need um, four hoppers, a double chest, and some slabs. Wait, where is it? Oh, there it is. Wow, totally blends in. Okay, so we're gonna want double chest here. Hopper here, and hoppers here. Then some slabs. And voila! This is ready. I'm thinking in the future we could definitely make this prettier. But for now, this will have to do. Alright, let's go grab those torches. Okay, it's nice and dark. Whoa! Okay, you're not supposed to spawn there. Oh good, she splashed herself a little bit. Oh goodness, those go far. Okay. She got me again, but I should be okay. Okay, hopefully no more mobs will be spawning around here. Now, we wait. And with that, we have our first mob fall down. And of course, it's a creeper. I'm going to just stay my distance. This is great. Now we finally, we have three farms to possibly gain us XP. And we might be close enough to this farm where it actually is generating while we're waiting on the mob farm. Even though the villagers won't help us out, hopefully having these farms here will be really helpful in trying to enchant my items and gain more XP. I'm thinking I even want to make this kind of like a moon pool area. That would be so cool. Okay, now we have our Fortune 2 pickaxe. Someday this could be a Fortune 3 pickaxe. Pickaxe? 
this someday this could be a fortune three pickaxe but for now this is replacing what i lost in the mines earlier i think it will be a good idea to go out to the guardian temple and gather all of the diamonds that i had saved and not yet mined let's see how many diamonds we can get okay let's see how many diamonds we get Nine out of a one, two, three, four, five. That's not too bad. It's not amazing either. Just make sure there's none over here. All right, let's go find some more. <gasps> more diamonds. Alrighty, we ended up with a stack and a little bit over a stack and a half of diamonds just from going around the Guardian Temple era for a little bit. We weren't mining that long. And with that, we have three and a half stacks diamond. That is insane to me. Since we were having such good luck today, to end on a high note, I think we should make the conduit next to the village so that I can f build in the village without having to worry about splashing myself with water every few seconds. Even with respiration, which is very helpful, I still had to do it a lot for the mob farm. Okay, I'm thinking I want it as close to the village as possible. So maybe right here. Okay, now I can place the conduit. And it is activated. So let's test this out. Yay! Okay, let's see how far we can go. Because we might have to move it if we can't travel too far. Oh yeah, we can travel throughout the whole village without having to worry about breathing. <gasps> this is so good for building. Oh, that would have been so helpful for building that thing <laughs> over there. <laughs> would have saved me a lot of hours. Yes, this is so great. And you know, even though it's not the most prettiest location, we'll definitely can make it like a little pretty tower or some sort of base right now. But I think it works okay right there for now. It kind of blends in with the coral. You almost think it's a coral. All right, I think I'm going to wrap up the episode here. Thank you so much for watching. We definitely made a lot of progress and I am really excited to possibly make more progress, maybe defeating a guardian temple next episode and maybe some fun decoration for the village, possibly. Those are some ideas. If you like this episode, please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.